quick video here autographs it says so I bought this at a local auction okay cheap it's not really it's not really worth it's not worth anything more than um, I just liked it uh, for somebody it will have sentimental value now I'm posting this because the hopeful of meeting some well, of, of finding relatives of this person, Joan Everett, 2 Chapel Road, Main Ridge, it looks like, Boston, Lynx, which I think is Lincolnshire. Not being familiar with that particular area, I think, I think that's what it stands for. So, it's an autograph book from the 1940s. Um, strangely for the war era it mentions very very little about, well it mentions nothing about the war, absolutely nothing in it it's just, th there are little poems and such like here's another thing <clears throat> St. Leonard's Vicarage Parkfield Avenue St. George, Bristol 5, five fi 5th of February 1948 and a letter from um, the Reverend something or other. I uh, can't really read that. Maybe David Carrington or something like that. It's very hard to read. My dear Joan. So that's obviously addressed to this lady that had this book. So, though it's called Autographs, it's not filled with autographs of... Um, celebrities from the era, it's just friends and little sayings that were popular um, some in French there's somebody that's got a bit of humour look <clears throat> by gum, it's stuck Herbert Herring 6-3-1942 and I have a penny postage stamp Don't make love in the cornfield. Remember, the corn has ears. Kissing at the garden gate, your mother heard the smack, said it was a naughty thing, and made you give it back. Best wishes, Barbara Timms, 15 1, 1945. So, I'm not going to read out all these. V.A. Butler. Just quite often they're just. The rose is red, the violet's blue, sugar's sweet, and so are you. A bit corny, but there you go. It was in the 1940s. Now, the main reason I got this, not these little sayings, there are a couple of drawings here of people in, obviously, the costume from that era. A couple of girls with a dog, Emma, Edna Blake, 22, 1944. But this one I really like, the next one. Not that. This. I think that's brilliant. The colours are still glowing after all those years, a little watercolour. And, you know, you can see it's definitely, it's it's it's, it's not pasted in from a, a book or anything, it's actually painted on that page. Best wishes from Jane Cook 22747. Very nice. Can you see? Yeah. So, anyway, it goes on to see the loads of signatures and quotes from Omar Khayyam and yeah, all these unusual little things here. The Golden Wall of Friendship with signatures dating from um, the mid-1940s. As I say, for, for strangely enough, for a, a book wrote during the war, there's absolutely no mention of World War II or anything related to it. Um... Which is a kind of shame, really, because it might have gave it a bit more value. Um, 
and as I say I bought it at a local auction here or did I mention that, that I bought it at a local auction in Wet Caithness how it's ended up away in the far north of Scotland I do not know but if anybody knows this person maybe or uh, I presume she's possibly passed away Joan Everett, Two Chapel Road Main Ridge it's hard to read that Main Ridge Boston, Lincolnshire Reverend E. David Cartwright Oh, that must be the chap that wrote that letter in there I'm guessing Yeah That'll be David Cartwright I'm guessing Yeah Boston Lynx so, if there's anyone in Boston Links that may know of this uh, lady, Joan Everett, Two Chapel Road, Main Ridge, give us a shout. I'm going to put this video up on the hope that maybe we can trace some of the family. It'd be quite good to get that back to them. It's a lovely little book. It's more of sentimental value to somebody that's related to the person. But I like the little um, the two the the two drawings. The, inside it. That's the main reason I got it, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered. Nice little um, bit of memorabilia for someone. Um, over and out, and you can contact me through the um, comments on YouTube. Bye bye now.